<laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs>Do I have a King's Cross story? Oh, God, one King's Cross story. Yeah, I do, but... Uh, well, I can't tell you about mine. I can't tell you. <laughs> no, I have many. It was 2012. Uh, Snoop Dogg came into the back room for New Year's Eve. That was a, that was a wonderful night, yeah. It was, uh, he rocked up out the back, and it was about 10 feet for him to walk from there to the door, but he waited an hour and a half to get 12 user-paid police to stand there for the walkthrough. <laughs> I, I can't. When I was 21, I stayed in the cross, it was my very first experience of, of Sydney. I stayed in the cross for three weeks in a backpackers, so I would have to walk up and down the main drag to drama school, to NADA, every day through King's Cross to NADA. And I just remember overhearing some really great, my favourite, I overheard this great conversation in the cross. This is, walked past these two people and the snippet I just caught was, so are you telling me that nuns never have sex? And that's all I had. And I was like, I love this place. I just can't. I just can't. A number of years ago, I did a film uh, called Getting Square, and the, the character was a, you know, it was a lovely guy called Johnny Spatiri. And I was walking along um, Darlinghurst Road one day, and this character who now uh, has passed away, um, but he was well known around the cross at the time. He come up and he accosted me and he said, oh, I saw that movie. He said, you stole my identity. It's better that I don't. Because it, uh, it put me in trouble than probably a couple of other people as well. I've got a few actually for my more wild days. When my father first moved to Australia in 1984, he moved to Perth and he had to come to Sydney for a meeting in 85 and there was no internet there, nothing. You had to phone books, your yellow pages and he did, needed to find a hotel in Sydney for this one night stay that he was flying over to do and I think the East Coast was quite daunting to anyone that was in Perth and um, apparently he found a really well-priced hotel but it was in the King's Cross area. So he rocked up to Sydney and took a taxi to the King's Cross and went, ah, oh, okay, this is why it's really well priced. And he says, I had no idea what it meant, and then I went there and I realised, oh, that was why it was 20 bucks. <laughs> but my stepfather was actually a part of Sydney's underground in the 80s. He was a um, something that they call a boiler, which is someone who looked after bouncers. So he was, he was a very tough, tough man. And, um, well, he was Australian heavy uh, kung fu, uh, kickboxing um, heavyweight champion, 86 and 87. So he worked up there right in the thick of the cross in the mid 80s and got into a lot of, you know, um, scenarios. And as I remember there was one that I'd heard about that he was telling me that he was um, in one of the nightclubs and some group of guys that he'd kicked out uh, the week before came back for him and there was about I don't know eight of them or something like that and uh, they cornered him into into the corner of a of a room uh, with, with a window leading out onto the main street and apparently somehow they'd grab a hold of, they grabbed a hold of him but apparently somehow he smashed through the front window landed out in the street and then just took them all down and when we first moved here actually a friend of mine's dad owned an apartment above Por Porky's, I think it was. It was one of the sex joints. I think it was Porky's, one of the strip joints. And offered it to us to move in there. And I was like, oh, amazing, great. You know, we had to pay rent, obviously. But me and my housemate, my to-be housemate, went up and had a look. And we were sitting there and I was about to sign the lease. And I just had this image of mum and dad coming to visit me. <laughs> Apparently it's a true story. I love that, the idea that you could steal someone's identity. I don't think I went out in the cross very much. No, I did all my dirty work in Adelaide before I came to Sydney, I think.